Hey loves, it's Tamara. And excuse me for it being dark in here. Um, but as long as you can hear me, that's all that matters. So today is a beautiful Monday and the full moon energy is arriving or has pretty much arrived. Um, I know it starts tomorrow, but the energy is already here. Um, so I know for me, I'm definitely feeling it. I'm in definitely in a low key chilled out vibe today. So today is always, it's not always, but today is going to be about my release and heading to the gym in a minute and sweat some shit out and, um, do some other things today for myself. But I wanted to share this video with you in regards to our vortex. And... I don't want to say that I learned because I feel that once you truly know yourself, you know that you're already all knowing. Just certain things have to awaken within you um, to truly recognize your power. So my meditation today was on and is still on our vortexes and what we're putting into them. And sometimes I feel that I guess you become more aware of the things that you plant and the seeds that you put into your vortex because part of my thing is, is that I can become impatient and I want to take action and do my own thing. And, you know, we're constantly taught that we must move and go after what you want. And, but when really life is about flow, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you really think about it, the trees already know how to flow. You know what I'm saying? Birds know how to flow. Like the ocean and river always is always flowing and it knows when to move and when not to move. And that's just nature in itself when you really pay attention to it. And so for me, I think one of my greatest downfalls in my own creation and part of my stagnation is the fact that I want to act. And before the universe even sets forth and puts those things in front of me, you know, I want to go and get it myself and I want to go grab after it. But I'm starting to pay attention. If you pay attention to your patterns and things that you've tried to put energy towards, they either don't go right, they either fall apart, it ends up being too much for someone. Um, it may even be too much for yourself. And I think it's good to have the mentality to go after what you want, but at the same time, in which manner are you going after? Are you going after it? So I'm realizing for myself that once I put my thoughts and my visions into my vortex, it's already out there in the universe. And I think the hardest thing for us to do is, is to remain still and to be patient. And I'm truly becoming open to the true realness of being still. Being still is having confidence and knowing that you're taken care of. And being still is in those moments of allowing the universe to truly do what she does, which is support you in, in, in every single way, in abundance. We're always receiving, you know, in abundance from her. And in those moments of, well, I'm going to take care of it myself. This is taking too long. Like, I know we've all had those thoughts. This is not happening the way that I want it. You know, what's the problem? Like, all of these thoughts end up creating a fragmented experience in this life. So we get bits and pieces of someone that we may want a relationship with. They have the certain qualities that we've been putting out there. But as soon as we go after that, because we feel that it's taking too long, that person is either not ready yet, or there tends to be friction because now we're dealing off of the fleshly side of us and not sticking to 
the actual part that is that loving and supportive side. And so I think we try to force something that is just not ready to bloom yet. And I think this is why when we come to a point of letting go, you know, the essence of the word letting go holds much substance to it. Because the more that we want, the more that we desire, the more that we keep putting things out there and, and having this, I want, I want, I want, we really end up, because we have so much of that in intensity within us, we truly end up pushing that away because we try to work off of our own understanding. I'm not going to say inner standing, but our own understanding of trying to go after it and getting it right now at this moment. When really all we need to do and all the magic, the in the magic of it all is putting our thoughts and visions out there with love and putting that in our vortex and allowing the universe to bring it when it is ready to come to us. So being at peace with this is something that I'm coming into and I feel like there are things that I have missed out on because I've chosen to step in front of the universe to try to do things on my own time and my own, you know, my own, I guess, my own timing, I guess, you know, my own, me wanting it now and having and not having patience to wait for it. You know, so I think we kind of all have experienced that. So my greatest lesson today, and even when I push myself, and I know that I'm starting to try to push myself to go get and da 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 and constantly move, 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 move. I got to remain still and know that I'm taken care of and know that I'm loved and know that when it's right for me, it's going to appear. That's it. It really is that simple. And I think the part that makes it seem like it's hard is thinking too much. Definitely thinking too much. You know, so I've been humbled with this awakening within me. And, you know, I want to remain in peace. And I want to experience the best things in life. And I want to embrace this journey that I have. And... I want to expand in all of my experiences with people, places, and things. And I honestly think that in order for me to do that, I got to put what I want out there and allow the universe to take care of the rest. That's it. It really is that simple. So I just wanted to share that. And, you know, I'm, I'm not a person on the likes and all that as long as something that I say strikes a chord within you that is harmonious to your to your heart and is harmonious to your vibration you know that's all that I truly desire and seek after so that's it loves and I am gonna go head over to the gym now and do some sweating and then come back and get into some visions, some visualization work for myself. So remember, put it into the vortex, know that you're taken care of, and be patient in the arrival. Peace out.